One huge reason that people fail with the mirror tool infusion is confusing the two types of mirror. So if you do a search for mirror, S key search for mirror, can see this mirror here. Now, if I'm in a sketch, I create a sketch on this face right here, go to search for mirror, and now there's two of them. And this gets really tricky because right here is a sketch mirror. You can see these little outline shapes, these more solid shapes, hard to tell, but that is a mirror that concerns your solid model or your features. If I start a brand new sketch and I sketch a circle and a circle, because we're in the sketch and I'd like to mirror these, I'm going to need to sketch some lines or a line to mirror them. Across. I can simply sketch a solid line. I can select this line, make it construction. I don't have to do that. But if I go look for that mirror command and I'm using the sketch mirror or come to create and look for mirror, this is the sketch mirror. And I select the entities, the two circles, the mirror line across the going to mirror them in the sketch click OK now what's important and cool about this is that there is symmetry constraints added to the sketch so when I do make a change the other side changes if I change this left side it's not sensitive to whichever was the original or the seed but whatever changes I make will honor that symmetry now if this diameter gets set it's going to set it for both of them so if this is 40 now this will be set to 40 and the only way way to change the diameter would be to change this dimension, make it 45, and that will change that one. Now back to the solids. One thing that you might be struggling with is confusing the different type of mirror in the solid model. I'm in mirror and there's a few options here. We're going to ignore components for now because I'm not talking about an assembly just yet, but we're talking about bodies, faces, features. And the order I would use these is bodies first, then features, then faces. And let's talk about what that means. So the first thing is if you want to mirror everything, that is a good use of bodies. So the first thing I want to do is mirror this whole thing across this face right here so that it creates a solid mirrored object. So in this case, we'll choose this object, the body. The mirror plane is this fit and we're joining them, meaning if they touch, they merge into one. Click OK. And now we have one solid body created from this mirror and it's just created a copy across that face or mirrored that across the face. Let's undo that. Now, what if we wanted just like this one, but we want a left and right hand bird? In that case, maybe what I wanna do is create some space between them. I don't necessarily have to, I could use this face. Let's do that real quick. So if I do mirror, do this body, we'll do this mirror plane right here. We're not gonna join it. We're gonna do new body, click okay. I now have two bodies. I have a right hand version, a left hand version, and I can hide the original or the new one just by simply finding them in the dialog. Now, if you want some space in between them, you can do that by simply adding a plane out in space. We have this plane off in space. And now if we use this mirror, this body across this mirror, it's going to create this solid over here. Now we have left, left and right hand, and there's some space between just to make it a little bit more obvious. We'll delete that. Another reason that people think that mirror is kind of buggy is that they do it a little too early in the timeline. So let's do a mirror of this body. We'll use this plane or face. Since I do have a plane here, this is the origin plane. I should use this. This is actually going to give me the best results compared to even a face because this is not going anywhere, but the face could change in theory. So if I click OK, it joins them together. I have this mirrored. Now, when I come, on, come in and just simply finish this out, I'm going to fill it this face and maybe even add a fillet here. Great. Looks good. Wait, why didn't it mirror everything to the other side? I want this to be perfectly symmetrical. So this is one of those gotchas where the timeline does matter. The mirror solved. Then the user came in, me, added some fillets, right? The mirror is has already occurred. It's not aware of these fillets. So some things to do instead, if I can drag the mirror to the end of the timeline, timeline and because it's bodies it will grab everything sometimes you can't do that the point is what you'll want is to do the mirror last after everything that you need mirrored or after everything that needs to be included in the symmetry is done do the mirror last for for that value now if i'm not making changes to this but doing other things that's fine so rule of thumb mirror late not early now let's talk a little bit about the mirror plane this can be important and I was talking about, I want to do this body and I want to do the mirror plane across 
this face, join it together, that's great. Now, if I go back in my timeline and I'm working on this, and what if I change this up a little bit? What if I come back to the original sketch here and change the way this is designed? This jogs in a little bit, comes back down. I'm gonna delete this line here and then finishes out. This face in theory is different, even though it's effectively the same type of shape with just this little cutout, shouldn't be that big of a deal. But when I resolve it, this is a new face. Now, Fusion is gonna try to mirror it, but it's gonna give me a warning because the original face that this referenced is missing, it's gone. So that's where if you can use your original origin planes, if they align where you want them or they're where you need them to be, use those first, and then you can use construction planes and, pla and faces as well. Just good rule of thumb, using your original planes is always going to be more robust than additional new planes and faces. Sometimes you only want to mirror parts of the model. So in this case, we have the emboss added with a hole, and we want to bring that over. We choose features this time, and the mirror plane is this plane, right? And the objects that I want are, select the objects that I want to mirror, and I'll choose this cylinder. And so that's going to bring over just the solid. And if I also want the cutout, I'll choose that. And I also want to choose the fillet. So I make sure all of those get included in the dialogue and then click OK. It's going to resolve that on the other side, including all those features, but bringing it over. It's ignoring everything else and just solving those for us. So features give you a little bit more specificity instead of the entire body. Another challenge with mirror, let's say that we want to do features and we only want to do portions of this design. So if we choose features, come down, choose the base extrude, and then this plate that's coming up, but none of the fill let's change these other things that got added later. If I then choose the mirror plane, we'll do go across this face. I'm going to try optimized. It gives me the preview as if it's copying everything, which isn't what I want, and it fails. So if we, and then instead, if we then try just the extrude, the plate, mirror plane, the same, but instead this time we try identical. It does solve it. Adjust. That should be the most accurate because it resolves everything. Now, one challenge is identical probably isn't going to always solve depending on what you pick but one challenge here is i have two bodies even though they're touching it doesn't give me the option to merge because the mirror was computing and doing the adjust if we now use the combine command we can add them together and merge them one body now if you want to have even more control okay i created some holes and then i'm patterning them on this plate now what if i extend this plate to q and we'll make this plate longer i'm going to add a new offset Set. Great. What I'd like to do is mirror something maybe across where the middle is. I'm going to put in a mid plane right in the middle of this block. Puts in a plane for me. And now what I want to do is mirror these across that plane. And if I choose features, it's going to allow me to do the original hole, the original fillet, plus all the others. The bummer is that I don't really have much control beyond this. I have to do all of them. And then if I don't want those, I'm kind of in trouble. So instead of doing it this way, I'm going to do the mirror and use the faces option here, giving me more control. Now, this allows me to select this filleted face and this face, including this bottom face of that cutout. Select mirror plane, the one in the middle, and it's only going to mirror that, those faces. Now, you have to be careful to select everything. Otherwise, it'll fail. Let's show that real quick. If I only did these two, click OK. If I only do two of the faces and not everything, click OK. Sometimes it'll solve. Sometimes it doesn't. So I've seen it do both. You'll want to be sure to select everything with the faces. But what's nice about this is this gives us a little bit more control and lets us, you know, handpick just the things that we want to mirror across the plane. Now, one other thing that can be buggy about mirror is just how long it takes to solve. So if we come down and do a brand new mirror here, this is not a terribly complex part. It's not a slow rebuild, but if I do features and I do this object and mirror plane, you've got this compute type. And now if we take a quick look at these compute types together, optimize gives us identical copies and it's just going to grab all of those kind of faces as they are. And this is the fastest. This is going to create identical is going to try to just replicate all the original features. Adjust actually lets it recalculate. Okay. 
Okay, so let's talk about where it matters. In this case, I've got a simple plate at an angle. I'm gonna come in and do a cutout. Got it sectioned so we can see it. And I want to, instead of just cutting a distance, I'm gonna do an object and I'm gonna leave a little bit with this offset command. I'm gonna do negative 20. I should leave 20 mil, perfect. It's leaving 20 millimeters. Now, if we want a plane right in the middle, we'll do mid plane, select the face, select the face. There we go. And now what we wanna do is mirror this. We're going to mirror this feature across this plane. Okay. So if it's optimized, it's the fastest. It just does a mirror or copy of those faces and slaps it in. It doesn't compute. It doesn't think. Now, if we come down and do adjust, we expect it to compute it to come down and leave 20 millimeters. It should do a long, deep cut, but leave 20 millimeters and it resolves. So here's the rule of thumb. If you can use optimize, do it. If this gets you the result you like and it solves that's the fastest if it's not getting you the result you need the computation then try the adjust and see if that gets you the solution you need one and one final thought if you are needing to do this rectangular cutout and you need a lot of them please use pattern patterns a great fit you don't want to be mirroring and mirroring unless it's very specific to what you want but just remember i think that's a good rule of thumb if you can do a pattern for you want for what you'd like do that first and do mirrors when you need them hey i've created a cheat sheet just on mirrors as well as a lot of other Fusion 360 content. It's all free. If you want to check that out in my resource library, I'll put that link in the description. See you guys in the next video.